Hey guys, Lisa here again. In today's video, I'm going to show all of you how to get rid of that super ugly white background and the images that you'd like to use in your projects. So for this demonstration, I just pulled up a Google Slides presentation where I had quickly pasted photos, screenshots actually, of my... Now, I wanted to get the 3D Bitmoji by itself and I really couldn't figure out how to do that. So the long and short of things is I used my phone, I put a white, you could put any white piece of paper, or any white backdrop, uh, as long as it's, it's solid, it doesn't have a pattern, you could just put that down, you can tap your phone so that it looks like the 3D uh, Bitmoji is on the white surface, and then screenshot. Once you do that, you can go into your phone, into your gallery, you can edit those photos, so you just, you know, crop them, so you just get the Bitmoji, I then uploaded them to Google and then, you know, for my drive. And then from there, I just dropped them right in this slide. So for today's demonstration, I'm just going to use this one here. I'm going to copy her and I'm going to paste her onto this slide. The reason why it's purple is I wanted to make sure that I have um, a dark enough background where you're going to see the difference. Okay, so here I'm going to leave one there so you can see the difference. And then I'm just going to go into Microsoft Word. There are online free options that you could do as well. I'm going to do the same with this. I'm going to change the background of this so you can see it. We'll do blue for this one. And um, yeah, there are, there, are different, there are different free options that you can use. I know other people have used um, other programs to remove backgrounds as well. You can use whatever's easiest for you. For me, I have Microsoft Word on my computer. So for me, that is the easiest way to do this. Okay, and you wanna leave her somewhat large because you just wanna make sure that you're getting all of that background out. So for me, all I have to do is double click this. And then up in the top left-hand corner, there's an option that says remove background. Now it's not going to be perfect. I'm gonna have to play with this a little bit. You see, I don't want her, the white in her eyes to go away. So I'm going to click mark areas to keep. And I'm just going to click in her eyes. And like I said, some images still, for whatever reason, they're, they're very hard to get the background out. It's not worth the time that it would take to sit and click in all the areas. For this one, it was pretty simple because as you can see, she's done. So once I've looked over and I make sure that she is the way that I want her to be, I'm going to click keep image and you see the background goes away. Now, at least for me, I cannot just then copy and paste this back into PowerPoint. It still comes back with that ugly white background. For me, what I, <clears throat> excuse me, for me, what I have to do is now I have to save this picture to my computer. So I'm just going to write Lisa. And then when I come back to here, I'm going to go to insert image upload from my computer pictures and then I'm going to scroll down. I can also use file name and look for it that way. I don't have all that many. Oh, here you see it's right here. I don't have all that many photos saved in my phone so I just decided to scroll and look there you go. Here is the Bitmoji and it has no white background. You can do this also with images from from Google or wherever. Okay just as long as you have a background that is simple to delete, usually white. Uh, I guess it depends also on the, the color of the image that you're trying to delete the background in. But this is the long and short of things. If you have any questions, make sure to comment below, like the video and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my future videos. Take care guys.